Over the last decade, Bend has certainly proven that despite our landlocked status, we love the Oregon coast and the surf culture it provides. Even though the surf is kind of nasty at times, it is not Southern California or Malibu. It is not cute blonde bikini girls on longboards providing endless stoke for everyone. No, it is not that. It is more than likely super stormy, kind of nasty, and even on the best of days, uh, it's mediocre. Given that most Central Oregonian surfers will spend more time duck diving and paddling than actually surfing, we thought it'd be a good idea to hook up with Central Oregon's original aquatic engineer, Travis Yamada, and get the lowdown on board selection and board design. Tumalo Creek, kayak and canoe. From this iconic old mill building, these river stewards share all types of epic water adventures. They've been doing it for like 20 years. The staff at Tumalo Creek will get you on the water, fitted and educated to the paddle craft of your liking. Demos and rentals, designed with the try before you buy philosophy, with the water just steps from the shop. Demos, rentals, classes, community. Tumalo Creek. I'm Travis, and you're at Cubicle. I've been here for in Bend for 30 years and started Cubicle in 2015. I build surfboards and have a surf shop. Started surfing in a weird canal wave here in Bend and built my first surfboard about 15 years ago. And since then, we now have a whitewater park and I've been able to turn my hobby into a little business and I build boards for the river as well as the ocean. So living in Bend and going to the beach to go surf, um, got to be realistic about it. You're usually going to have marginal conditions. The days of ideal conditions are few and far between, and often they're not even days. They're little hours or windows, sometimes minutes, you know? So with that being said, ye equipment is really important to have a good time at the beach. So more board equals more waves. A good, flexible, warm wetsuit is going to allow you to be in the water longer. Because um, realistically, you're going to be paddling a bunch and maybe standing 1% of the time. So in the beginning, the most challenging thing is to just catch a wave. And you need to be able to paddle and get up to a certain speed to be able to match the wave speed. If you have more board, that's going to allow you to do it. Once you graduate from there, most people are trying to get past the white water, right? At first you're catching white water, foamy waves. Um, you find it's difficult to get out past some of the breaks sometimes with a bigger board. So a lot of people want to graduate to something smaller that, that, that they can actually duck dive to get under the waves and you get out into the set waves and you're on green faces. Um, that's when progression really happens and that's when you're equipment gets really refined instead of a big board that you're just on top of the water all of a sudden you have something more refined that you can get under the water when you want to and then once you're on top your rails and stuff are engaged on top of the water and inside of the water and that's when shortboarding comes in. Uh, we talked about off the rack choices um, and those choices will get you in the water get you some experience but if you really want to level up and you want to take surfing a little more seriously, um, we'll talk about custom shapes, right? So everybody's ability, body shape is different, and that's when a custom shape can really make a difference, right? Getting the right size, the right volume, rail volume, all of it comes into play, and that's when you need to talk to a board builder uh, like myself, and we can get you dialed in. Um, and that doesn't mean just a little performance shortboard either. That means maybe you are a longboarder and you need a specific type of longboard or uh, a mid-length. Or maybe you like something weird like an asymmetric board like this. Here at Cubicle, we have everything from a bar of wax 
to a custom surfboard and everything in between. We have rubber, we have fins. If you want a custom surfboard, come down to the shop and we'll make an appointment and we'll get you in the shaping bay and we'll talk about surfboards.